In today's video, I'll be showing you the fastest and easiest way to set up a custom domain. So for the first step, go ahead and upload your website to whatever web hosting platform you're using. In this example, I'll be using Netlify. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here to hit sites. Once you click on sites, you should see this box where you can drag and drop your files. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop my folder that contains my website files. And once you have done so, you should see a screen really similar to this. And here you should see a temporary URL that Netlify generates for you. And depending on whichever web hosting platform you're using, you should also see a very similar link that's auto-generated that once you click on it, you should see the website that you currently uploaded. So right now it's loading, but as soon as it says loading, it should show the website like I had it on my own local machine. So once you've tested that the link is actually working, go ahead and go back to your uh, web hosting platform. In this example, with Netlify, I'll go ahead and just click on domain settings and here, you can just look for an option that says something similar that says add custom domain. And once you get to the screen, go ahead and just type in the custom domain that you want to use and then hit verify. And then once you see this message, go ahead and just click add domain. And if you don't know everything correctly, your screen should look similar to this. And once you complete all those steps, the next step is to go ahead and edit your domain settings. So wherever you purchase a domain from, go ahead and go to that website. In this example, I'll be using Google domains. But once you get into the domain like overview page, go ahead and just go to your DNS settings here. And once you're on your DNS settings page, go ahead and look for a button that says add new record or manage like custom records as you see here. But go ahead and click that button and then scroll all the way to the bottom and just look for a button that says like create new record. And once you click on it, you should see uh, now that you can input a new like custom DNS record for your domain. So now in the first box, go ahead and type in the beginning part of your custom domain. So in my example, I use test and beneath the box you should now see like the custom domain that you want to set up. And then next, go ahead and just click on CNAME. And then in this very last box, go ahead and just copy the temporary URL that Netlify gave you and just make sure to paste it here and hit save. And once your custom records are saved, just give it about 10 to 15 minutes and now when you access your custom domain it should redirect you to the Netlify website that you set up. So if we go back to our Netlify uh, tab and you refresh the page, um, depending on how long you waited this page might change or not but yeah it basically if it looks like this that means it's working and now if I go to my custom domain I should see the website that I had earlier like hosted here. But sometimes it just takes a while but yeah as you can see here now we can see the website that I uploaded. However, if you don't see the exact same screen like I'm seeing here and you're still seeing like the error message, just give it some more time and usually it will fix this up on its own. Also at the bottom of the screen here, sometimes it will say like the certificate failed to verify and you should like click the button that says verify again and usually that will resolve the error. And if giving it more time um, and trying to verify the certificate doesn't work, go ahead and just leave a comment uh, at the bottom of this video and I'll do my best to try to get back to you. But those are all the steps in order to successfully set up your custom domain. If this video helped you in any way, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe.